What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Senator 17 Her Rescue Video. Today, we'll be responding to a giant car pile up here on the Windmill Farms map. We'll be hopping in the Kenmore T800 Heavy Wrecker and we'll be making our way over to the crash site. Now, the story is with this accident, a sports car was going down a very steep hill, lost control, spun out, and then it created a chain reaction of a semi truck with a trailer, a dump truck, and a few passenger vehicles colliding into it, causing one giant pile up at the bottom of a hill. The sheriff's department and the fire department have responded and there are no reported injuries, which is good. And now they have called up, up to kind of get the road open as soon as possible, especially since it will be rush hour traffic and it's very early morning. So many people do have to get to work. I'm very excited for featuring a heavy rescue video today. It's a very exciting series and this series has been on the channel for quite some time. All the way back since FS15, which is pretty exciting. We are actually using the original tow truck that did start this series off which is also very nice I do like using this one it's almost like a throwback to when we use it because we do have a lot of newer tow trucks but I always do like changing up the trucks that we do use as you guys since we do have our LED emergency lights running which is pretty cool I do get a few questions and uh, requests asking me to put some blue and red lights on since many tow trucks in many different states can respond with lights and sirens so I mean that's going to be a pretty cool upgrade for us once we do have the uh shops kind of do those for us but until then we'll kind of go as we should be and take a look at that guys the sheriff's aho is pretty good for the snow and looks like he's blocking off the road up here so we'll kind of park up right about here and the public works also did give us a loader to help us out if we do need to push any vehicles or even clear any of the snow as you guys can see take a look at this pile up that dump truck is on its side the jeep is pretty much almost rolled over we have a jackknife semi truck it looks like we have a BMW sandwiched and a Ford Mustang upside down. So we gotta clear this pile up as soon as possible to get the road open. You guys can see both lanes are kind of closed. And I mean, take a look at this accident. Giant accident. It looks like this entire front axle and the gas tank, this entire quarter panel, everything like that is destroyed on the dump truck. And it looks like this Jeep, the undercarriage did get damaged, the other side did also. So we'll definitely have to kind of pull both of these these out but take a look at that guys there is a bit of snow drift here so I want to use that loader kind of clear some of this and then it will be kind of uh, coming over here with the Kenworth I do want to make sure we have enough traction it's very icy and we did get a lot of snow overnight We'll be hopping here in the John Deere 524K high lift loader. I mean, this is probably my favorite loader in the game so far, and it's just so good size, pretty realistic size for just the average kind of company to use. Now, we do have to be pretty careful that we do not kind of slide into the accident. We do not want to make it bigger or cause more damage to any of the vehicles. We just kind of want to clear more of the snow. So, kind of push the snow off to the side. You guys can see pretty good job so far doing it. And I mean, take a look at that backing up readjusting and I think we'll try to get a little bit on the other side then it will be pretty much kind of switching over to the tow truck center we really do have it kind of doing this in the last video we did have to do a little bit of snow pushing which is a pretty realistic thing to do but this is kind of a big thing for us we do need the traction and they did give us the loader and if you guys would like to see more heavy rescue videos on the channel let me know down below in the comments I really do enjoy featuring these these are a lot of fun and as you guys can see I think we'll kind of park this at the bottom because our winch is actually frozen on the rollback yes we brought our brand new Kenworth T8800 uh, dual axle rollback and the winch froze on it which is not good so as you guys can see it looks like we get actually attached to the front and also to the back and hopefully there is no load that's going to jump up take a look at that guys there is no load if there was that would be a very big challenge for us up next we'll be kind of hopping in the Kenmore turning it around we do actually have the fire department right over here which is pretty convenient for this crash but while we do kind of get this turned around I do want to get the tow bar and everything like that lowered down so we do have to be pretty careful make sure that we do not get this truck stuck or even slide down the hill and damage this truck tow trucks are pretty expensive especially a heavy wrecker like this one and we do need to get the road open today I'm very excited to be here on the Wind Metal Farming map. It's a great map, and they do release many different awesome mods, and I do appreciate Wind Metal Farming for all 
of what they do here in the farming simulator community. We'll be backing up and attaching. Looks like there's a hitch right over there, and we will be attaching. Take a look at that, guys. We are attached, and we'll definitely kind of pull forward. Let's see what will happen. We will be kind of moving the trailer just a little bit, and take a look at that, guys. The trailer is moving, but the dump truck is pulling apart. Take a look at that, and the Jeep is shifting. So the Jeep will be the next vehicle we will have to move off. But as you guys can see, we were able to kind of pull this off that, which is good. And now we'll be putting them all into parking lots all over the street until we have the time to kind of do it. But up first, we do have to get the road open. And to do that, we need to clear the road of all of them. And, I mean, this is a pretty large open parking lot from the baseball field. Nobody's playing the baseball today, especially with the winter season here. So, I mean, pretty good decision to do that. And we'll be just kind of backing down. Now, backing up in this truck is slow. But slow is always safe and it's slower um, and kind of speeding down, especially an icy hill. So we'll be just kind of backing up here, and I really do like the realism that I do feature in all of my videos. You guys are awesome with all of the positive support on that. I really do like the realism. It's very, very cool. So it looks like these mirrors aren't exactly aligned how we really would like them, but we did a pretty good job there. First person backing up, kind of doing a good job. So next up, we'll be kind of turning as we do back down. We do have to watch the poles, everything like that. And we do have a quite a long way to go down so once we do this we'll get this truck turned around and we'll kind of head down to the bottom of the hill but we'll definitely have to kind of turn this camera view around we do want to make sure that we are going to be getting this and looks like we can't really see take a look at that guys we are backing down and we are having trouble seeing especially with the camera view so let's see we look like do have to extend out the tow bar to make it a bit easier it's way too far and we should be able to try to attach it as you guys can see we got the jeep attached we'll hop out and double check when to do get out on a hill you do want to make sure you pull a parking brake air brakes and take a look that we are attached right about there now I would be using the rotators and the winches but the winches do sometimes run into many problems so using the old-fashioned tow hook really does work here in farming sim next up we'll be kind of pulling this up the hill parking it up here and then we'll be driving down and kind of working with the rollback to get that Mustang loaded onto it and because we are in farm sim rolling it over won't be too realistic so I think we'll just use the loader and just push it on I mean that's what we will have to do and the public works did give us the loader so we might as well use it to help us out clear the road as fast as possible now we won't be kind of raising up the tow bar on the back since we will be using it we'll be kind of heading down we do have to be pretty careful though that we do not kind of slide into it so we do want to take it pretty slow as you guys can see though, this is a very steep hill and that's probably the reason why with the fresh snow overnight and the icy conditions because of the weather, I mean this is just a recipe for many different car crashes and it looks like this one was a cause of that. So we'll be parking this right about here, that looks to be good and I really do like rollbacks, so very cool and like I was saying the winches are frozen which isn't the best for us and we will have to work around that but I think we'll be able to kind of turn around in this parking lot. We'll be turning this on. Looks like I just had it on, turned it off, and now it is on. Pretty quiet engine on my end. We'll be kind of turning around here in this area. We are kind of driving right over the bushes, and I mean, that's no problem at all. And, I mean, this is a brand new truck. We do want to take care of it, but sometimes we do have to get the road open. And it looks like that BMW almost looks drivable, so we'll definitely see if we can kind of move that out of the way. And if not, we'll uh, have to use... Uh, the other truck, but we'll definitely give it a try. We got this kind of into position, actually. I do want to kind of drive forward just a little bit. And as you guys can see, we're actually stuck in gear sometimes. And a lot lately, we've been stuck in a reverse and not able to kind of switch over to drive. So let me know if that has happened to you guys. It looks like it's a reoccurring problem for me as I do record many different videos here in Farm Sim. So it looks like uh, this is into position. Really good position right about here. That looks to be good. We'll be sliding it back that looks awesome so let's kind of take a look at the BMW see if it is drivable looks like this corner is fine this corner did get a bit of damage but the wheel looks like it's fine and it doesn't look out of shape and then in the back looks like it's only a bumper and the tail lights and I really wish that we did have a pretty realistic mod which would show all of the damage but as you guys can see we are attempting to moving it as you guys can see I am getting it rolling which is nice we're definitely gonna just roll this off to the side right over here even though we shouldn't really be moving it 
uh, since the airbags, everything like that went off, we were able to put it in neutral and use the momentum to roll down the hill. So up next, we'll be hopping in the John Deere loader, and we will be pushing the Mustang on. Now, like we were saying earlier, it will be a very realistic thing to kind of roll it back over, then put it on. But because we are here in farms and we are unable to do that, uh, we try to be as realistic until certain times we can't be. So as you guys can see, I am trying to get this lined up onto it so that it does slide on perfectly, and it looks like we we just about have it. it looks like we do have to readjust it just a little bit so we'll definitely kind of angle this and that way we could kind of turn it we'll definitely drive in as you guys can see right about here and we'll just kind of push the corner this like we're saying is not realistic but it's the only way for us to move a rolled over vehicle without a tow hitch on it as you guys can see we kind of got that onto it which is nice in the last two vehicles shouldn't be a big problem it's a trailer and the semi truck but it is jackknife and it does have quite a lot of damage so up next we'll be kind of locking this load and we'll be sliding this on looks like it did not lock We'll lock it once more and wow take a look back guys this automatically slides on no problem at all We're kind of backing up and that locking script is very realistic and it's pretty helpful for us So I think we'll kind of just park this down at this side street right over here as you guys can see, the main goal is to get the road open, so we just wanted to kind of move all these vehicles to the side of the road so that the Sheriff's Department can get it open. Let's kind of take a look. Looks like there's a hitch in the back, and we can only attach two hitches with the tow trucks, so we definitely want to kind of disconnect it, and then we should be able to move the truck out of the way first, and then we could kind of come in and attach to a trailer. That's kind of the game plan, and hopefully we could go by that, but sometimes, especially with tow trucks and recovery work, nothing goes as planned, so we do not really know what to expect but often give it our best try as you guys since we are backing up here and we're gonna give this our best try that we do have and we'll just kind of drive forward here it looks like the trailer is moving around it but take a look at that guys it looks like it is now caught wow the trailer just slid down the hill a lot that's not too good it's a good thing though that it did stop over there I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. You guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback and you do mean the world to me with all of that support that you give on a daily basis. And I do upload a lot of videos to a day and I always feature a farming sim video every single day. And then for the second one, we are featuring different games here on the channel. So we'll be disconnecting this and as you guys can see, just trying to get the road open, one more kind of vehicle to move, if you would so call, then we got this road Road back open the sheriff's department can open up and just kind of lower the speed and stay on scene until all of the vehicles are towed back but as you guys can see we'll be backing up and attaching to this trailer i mean that's one very expensive and it looks brand new so hopefully they could recover it maybe just replace the ramps and maybe a few parts on the back end and kind of get this back in running so we'll be backing up and we'll definitely see if we get attached as you guys can see, it looks like we got it attached, which is nice, and sometimes we can't be too realistic in it, uh, farming sim, especially with, uh, with this Heavy Rescue series. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's Heavy Rescue video, responding to this giant pileup at the bottom of the hill with one overturned vehicle. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more.